and we humbly ask the court for leniency. FP's guilt has been blown out of proportion to satiate what my father's suicide denied us. Closure. As much as I sympathize, I can't ignore the quality of Mr. Jones's crimes. There were no extenuating circumstances. My father threatened him. I overheard them talking in Daddy's study. Daddy said he would hurt Jughead if FP didn't comply. Is that extenuating enough? In light of these revelations, I suggest that we take a step back and reevaluate certain aspects of the case, at which time we will revisit sentencing. Adjourned. Is that a win? It's a delay, so yeah. Oh, don't be so cynical, Elizabeth. I came to write my next story over one last root beer float. I'm calling it Requiem for Pops. Can I get a quote, dear? You're a fiend, mother. But this is one obituary that you're not going to write. All right. Two strawberries, one vanilla, and one chocolate with extra malt. Why the hell did you broadcast all over social media that the Pussycats would be doing a free concert here tonight? I knew that if I asked you, you would have said no. Mm -hmm. If my mom even hears that I set foot in this place. Josie, you care about this place. I know you do. I see you in here all the time. Betty, even if I wanted to help, I'm down a cat. Valerie has a neurovirus. I'm stepping in. After all, if you can be a rubber vixen, Josie, I can be a Pussycat. As long as it's a cover, I'm sure I'll know the lyrics. I mean, you do love your cheese fries, Josie. <sighs> Fine. Fine. My milkshake brings all the boys to me. 